Good day, everybody. Today I'm going to present you a little project that I um, I was curious to see how well it would turn out. And um, the guy that actually owns the project called it the Chameleon Light. And, well, you know what, I'll leave it at la like that or the color replicator, whatever you want to call it. And what it is, it's basically, um, it, he used a uh, photoresistor or light depending resistor, photocell, whatever you want to call it, um, to reproduce the color. So what it is, is on my top hole right there, there's a uh, RGB LED under it. And what it does is it shines for about 100 milliseconds on each color. And then the photoresistor picks up the uh, amount of light that's being bounced back in each color and it stores it in three three different bank one's for red one for greens and one's for blue and then once that's done uh they go through a little process of recalibration and calculation and i'm not going to go into details and then they're actually displayed on uh these lovely nine leds and the reason why i took this that project is i was curious to see how well it would actually reproduce different colors so i have um a green here, a blue, and then I have multiple color on uh, my girlfriend's pillow. And the only thing you have to do before this actually works well is you need to calibrate it by showing it white and black. So I have a piece of paper that's going to be my white and my uh, DS just casing that's going to be black. Now I did notice that is it's not perfect. So you will get some error, but in for the cheap way, that's actually pretty good. And for those who have a little bit more money and they want to spend more time coding, well, you can actually go buy yourself a uh, color detection module or whatever. They, I don't know, I've seen those from uh, a few dollars up to like $20, $30, depending on where you get those. But you know, a uh, photoresistor is actually cheap. You can get those anywhere. And I actually had mine lying in my junk box. And RGB LED, well, those who play with Arduinos, I'm assuming you get a few of these lying around. And you can actually pick uh, three different LEDs, one red, one green, and one blue. That's uh, totally up to you. And in my case, I used a single addressable LED. So they have a little chip in there. I forgot the number. I think it's 2811 or something like that for the chip, which is a constant current um, single, like one wire data in and one wire data out that you can control uh, a bunch of LEDs. So I've actually got 10 LEDs in there. So one for here and then nine for the display. And well, I'm gonna stop talking and show you how it works. So very easy, power up USB, and the USB is only for power, so there's actually no data. And the middle LED will light up just to tell you that the program, the, the Arduino, is ready for calibration. And I'll still need to work on that because when you press the button, the, uh, the first LED right here will flash red and then turn white, fully white which is quite bright, so I'll probably uh, lower the number a little bit just to make it dimmer. And I want to turn this one off once uh, everything is done. And then uh, once the white calibration is done, it's going to flash green and then turn back to white, telling you to put it on a uh, black surface. Once that's done, it's going to do a little funky color. And then it takes a reading, and normally it should be black, so no LED should be on. But it's not really the case. It, sometimes there's a little uh, color, a residual color that pops in. So I'm going to go on and turn off the light and then put it on white. Press the little button. As you can see, it blink red and then white. Very, very bright. And as soon as you see green, that means it is ready to be moved on a um, black surface. And then here you go. And well, that's the result I mostly get. A little pinkish uh black so i guess black is pink but uh there we go and if i press the button as you can see you can see the actual led flashing in each color for about 100 100 millisecond and if i hold it'll just keep cycling that means it's, it keeps uh constant reading so i'm going to go on and put it on 
the uh, black piece of cloth and here we go we have green and then go on ahead and put it on the blue there we go blue and just to prove you that it's not really just random color or pre-programmed color if I press it there we go it reads nothing and it goes to black and then uh, let's see uh, blue and then uh, I'll move on to the pillow and I'll pick up a red and there you go a lovely red and there is actually no blue and no green LED on there are only red one so it's actually pretty uh, it's pretty nice and if I go on ahead and pick a blue blue there there we go another blue and uh, it will like if you keep your finger on it it will vary and then pick different colors until it actually picks up the the perfect one and as you can see you can see it uh, blinking under there so I don't have any real purpose besides just putting on a piece of color and then replicate it the color and using it as a light to walk around the house but uh, I'm assuming if someone really actually wants to use that as a practical use you could and then you can output um, let's say a serial uh, port and then you can have your, your three color in a roughly accurate way of uh, reading the color and for actually very very cheap because the only thing it requires is one analog port and then uh, an RGB LED so technically three port unless you're using like me a um, one that uh, RGB LED which in my case I only use uh, I technically use three ports on the old Arduino one for the switch one for the uh, photoresistor and one for the LED and everything gets control out of that so um, and it was a little um, too big to fit on a AT tiny 85 uh, I'm guessing I was uh, overpowering the RAM so it, it wasn't uh, programmed the Arduino programmer was popping me some error so I had to go with an Arduino but uh, in, in general I'm actually pretty satisfied out of that I'll probably improve make some more mode or whatever in the future but for for now it's a nice little uh, replicator for for color and it's quite fun seeing that it actually reads a few color all right thanks for watching